Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a pillow. Now there are bunch of tutorials available on YouTube that show you how you can make a pillow. But what makes this tutorial special is that this is a super easy tutorial and this uh, the method is super easy and you will get excellent results. And that is because of the add-on made by Rich recently beautiful add-on and uh, you need to download that add-on first of all so you need to go at github.com slash the 3d advantage modeling club and download that add-on from here download zip okay now if you have downloaded that add-on now come back to blender go to file user preferences and install from file and Go, uh, go to the place where you have downloaded that add-on I have downloaded it on uh, here so here it is click on that add-on click on install add-on from file I have already installed it so I don't need to install it then uh, turn on that add-on by clicking this uh, check mark button and save user preferences now before starting let me show you what we are gonna make so this is the pillow which we are gonna make today using the brilliant and awesome add-on made by rich and that's super cool thank you rich so let's start let me just move it to Layer number two. So what we're gonna do is just remove this button. Okay. So what we are, we you have to do is first of all, if your cursor is not at the center, then uh, center that cursor. Uh, let me first of all turn on the screencast keys. Now that I have turned on screencasting keys, now you will be able to see clearly what I'm pressing keys, what key I'm pressing. So first of all, you need to add a plan. Shift A plan and then you need to go into the added mode, getting the odd added mode and then hit W subdivide. Now you have to subdivide add uh, uh, almost 60 cards. Now after adding cards, you need to go and duplicate this in the and move it in Z direction. Okay. Now you will have to. Uh, now you will need to select all the exterior edges. So what you have to do is Alt Shift and right click, right click, right click, right click. Uh, this one also. Okay, did something wrong. Okay, so Alt Shift, this, this, and this edge. And this edge, oh, okay. So let's do it again, okay. We've done it all. So, Alt Shift, Alt Shift, right click. Oh man, what the hell? Alt Shift, right click. Let's go into the edges panel. Control, Tab, Edges. And control shift this this okay this this and this edge plus this this one there's a shortcut for selecting all the external edges but I don't know that you can google it and uh, you can do it easily Okay, now we have select, selected all the external edges. Now what we have to do is, we have to scale them at Z axis and at zero. Okay, and then what we have to do is, we have to remove the doubles and turn it. Okay, now after removing the doubles, what we have to do is, select every, uh, select whole our mesh and then calculate the normals. Now calculating normals is really very important in order to inflate our flow. Without these, our flow will not inflate. Okay. 
so now we have to scale it back at z axis and then zero and then now let's go back to object mode and then come here add extend extended panel there you will find cloth modifier options click on modeling cloth and then it play now you can see that our mesh has already started taking play uh, taking uh, you know shape of a cloth now what we have to do is we have to inflate it by coming here and hitting inflate and our model will inflate but it is inflating a lot so we have to uh, put a value so 0 0.0001 okay so now it will slowly uh, start becoming in the shape of flow so let's add um, more zero one okay and then now just you will have to wait a while so that uh, it is it you know takes a place of it uh, takes the shape of a flow okay Here you can now already say that it has got some wrinkles on its shapes. Okay, here it is. You can already see that. Okay, so let's you know smooth them. Come here and click on smooth. Okay. okay then I'll come back here. Let's oh. okay. The mm -hmm. okay, now you can uh, see that we have got the wrinkles. Now it's time to add some. But to show the wrinkles a lot more clear, what you can do is I'll show you uh, at the end. But first, let uh, buttons in it a single button, or you can add multiple buttons as you wish. So, first of all, what you have to do is go to the edit mode and on the top view, and I want to add a button in the center. So, our cursor is already at the center. Zoom into the cursor. Hit Z to go into the wireframe mode. Select one vertice, vertices, and come here into the cloth panel. Then go find, you know, where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Yeah, this add virtual springs. Now click on that. Below the pin selected button, there is a button known as add virtual springs. And after adding that virtual spring, what it will do is it will make it look like a button as you can see here so my viewport is a lot slower but you can manage that I guess first of all let's play it, make it play it it will you know make the process a lot quicker and then we can after that we can add smoothness to it okay 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 I think that's enough okay but you can play with it and make more wrinkles anytime so now let's go and pause it but another way we can make the wrinkles more visible which i told you that i'm gonna tell you is adding a subsurface subdivision surface modifier we cannot you know apply it but we can you know render it so here is our flow fully wrinkled that's you know uh, really great before this add-on no one 
actually we we have we would have to you know sculpt these wrinkles but we can now easily get these <coughs> and it's for free that's brilliant so any one of you if you are able to uh, donate then please donate to rich okay and now let's add a button simply simply click on shift a add a uv sphere scale it and the button side should be this and smooth that button i think we should make the button a lot smaller a little bit more smaller okay now we have got our pillow ready so now what we have to do is we need to add a texture or materials now the best thing about this add-on is that um, it's really easy to UV unwrap that because before that add-on we used to you know sculpt our pillow and then it was it was you know a little bit difficult to UV unwrap that model but using this add-on if you you know just go into the edit mode oh sorry edit mode and you can see that we have small flat simple plane which is really super easy to unwrap by just selecting all hitting u on the keyboard and hit unwrap and you will be you will have the all things unwrapped okay so come here and go into the uv image editor and there you can see we have unwrapped it perfectly and uh, so now what we have to do is you need to go into the node editor go to the material section new this and you can add whatever material you want and the material which i have used was uh, let me set it what you have to do is shader and principled bsdf the great principled bsdf latest material that is not a blender and that is awesome and let's add a because i'm making it velvet therefore i need to add a velvet shader into this okay and We need to add it with the mix shader to mix these both the shaders. Click on surface, this shader, this shader, and now we need a texture for the texture, image texture connected with this and connected with Velvet BSD app also. So what you have to do is you have to open up i have my texture placed here click on that open it and now as you can see if i bring the camera here uh, where's that camera i think we don't have a camera in the viewport okay so let's create a camera first of all shift a camera okay now that we have a camera for the top view Control alt 0 and we have got a camera in the viewport okay so now if you render it you can see we have got a pillow but we don't have lighting now we need to add some lighting go to 3d viewport and where is the sunlight okay so we have nothing in our viewport so let's add sunlight shift a camera lamp sun okay and move it upward like this and rotate it a little bit in this direction and then let's you know let's increase the value of image okay Then what you can do is to mesh plane rotate it 
next option 90 go there and move it I think it will be good rotate it like this and give it a material of emission Two. And uh, what you need to do is, uh, oops, a blender has been crashed. Okay, so now you have uh, got the basic idea of creating that flow, and then you can render it uh, transparently, and then you can add make it look beautiful so that what is that was it from me now <clears throat> and uh, i'm gonna play a lot with this add-on i'm gonna make a lot of great things using that add-on and so if you wanna know if you wanna get updated about what i do with this add-on and what i do with the blender so subscribe and keep following me good day thank you